Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman, FocusDojoMMA.com. That's FocusDojoMMA.com, showing you a couple arm bars you probably haven't seen before. Yes, honestly, real variations you probably haven't seen before, showing them in the gi from Neon Belly. So I've shown them no gi in my Ultimate Neon Belly video. That's like an hour long seminar I did in Japan. Check that out. I give so many submissions, like 30, 40, 50, I don't know how many. Um, all kinds of different quadrant attacks, breaking it down to a real knee ride system. Anyway, Nice neon belly is one thing neon chest is mean. I like to be mean when you're being real, when you're going with higher rank, you can go neon chest. Anyway, the point is, after an Osoto guard or after I just bullfighter past his guard, whatever, I get to neon belly, KOB, nice like this, knee on the belly, which really should be on the, uh, the chest, I'll do that in a minute, knee up, nice focus, situational awareness for real jiu-jitsu self-defense for multiple opponents, that's better than going fully engaged to the mount. Anyway, if I'm just uh, sparring in jiu-jitsu, I'm going to be coming here, okay, more to his chest. And I'm going to be coming in here to always make the guy obfuscate, always, uh, always make him worry about one thing and kill him with something else, right, a little sleight of hand. So I'm going to be coming in here to choke his throat, and now I hook inside this arm, okay. I grab my own gi, and now I'm going to windshield wiper my foot, come to this angle, I'm going to windshield wiper my foot, and kick my foot up into this armpit. Here. Boom. And now I'm choking out already with my feet. And I also have the arm bar, sorry. So it's a dual submission BMAC biomechanical arm bar and choke. It's actually a better arm bar because biomechanically, I have another video of Nogi on this. I'm lifting his shoulder up with my foot, which actually stops. It doesn't stop uh, certain counters like stacking in and uh, hitchhiker escape. But it's easier to break his arm while he's doing those escapes by biomechanically lifting it. So I windshield wipe my foot to here as I'm throwing my leg over his face. And then I got heel kind of on his artery. I put the ball on my foot like a front choke or a front kick there. And I got the arm out at the same time. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now watch it, guys. I'm here. I come to knee on chest. Bam! And we're struggling. And I get this knee to make him focus. And I put my weight over him a little bit to focus on his neck. And then I swing up here. And I got the choke and the armbar at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna try that one more time. And then we'll go on. And maybe here. Okay, so we're fighting here. I'm trying to get arms. Boom, I got his gi a little bit. I make him focus here. On the street, you might not want to break someone's arm. Okay, legally, depending on if you had a weapon or not, it might just be a typical street brawl when you're younger, but you can control the guy. Give up, dude, give up, dude, give up, dude, and choke him to sleep if you need to hit his face, whatever you need to do. So it gives you options on the street as opposed to going to an arm by an instinct. And maybe an arm bar is not the right thing to do. Okay, next one is forearm submission. Not the typical spinneroonie arm bar you think I'm gonna do, that's not what I'm gonna do. I'm working in here, I get up underneath this uh, underhook, I get the far side underhook, okay, and I start working in here. Maybe I start breaking his neck in all kinds of different ways, okay, look at my other video, you'll learn all that stuff. So anyway, I'm in here, then I jump in here, and I get the arm bar there. Okay, so we're in here, boom, got my knee ride, I got under here a little bit, if I can hike this up a bit even better. I'm gonna slide this over the neck and get the arm bar right there. Okay? Two more. So I'm in here, guys. Man, we're fighting here. He's got tight defense. He's keeping tight. I can get under this arm a little bit. I got my control. I stack him. I pressure him. Okay, I pull his head in a bit. And then I'm gonna kick this leg here like a triangle, right? But then I'm gonna slide under behind this elbow for here or tighter here okay so anyway it's a really good arm bar that most people don't know as opposed to spinning around and yeah so all kinds of rear triangles start from there if he counters etc and so forth but it's everyone knows it now it's been around a long time right it's been a long time since Matt Hughes was GSP1 so anyway guys please thumbs up please subscribe and I'll catch you on the flip side